Hey, it's a Cat Wolf, and in this video, we're going to be going over chunks, what they are, why they're important, and all that. So a Minecraft world is divided into the 16 by 16 blocks. So let's have a look. So we've got these white ones here. This is, let's call this our first chunk, or our home chunk. So if we go over here, We'll see this corner here, this uh, light green block. This is, if you look up at the top left hand corner, it says zero, negative 59, zero. So the negative 59, uh, that refers to the height that you are on. So if I go up, you can see that the number goes up. If I go down, uh, number goes down and because it's negative so the first number is the x axis and the last one is the z it's a little bit unusual I, i'd like to think of it as um, x y z and x y be the sideways but this is the way that we do it in minecraft so the first first number is sorry the first number is this direction got lost a bit and the last number is this direction. So the entire world, every world, is divided into the 16 by 16 blocks. So they would go from this one here, zero, all the way up to 15, which means that the next block, 16, is the start of the next chunk. So it goes from 0, 0, and this one over here is going to be 15, 15. Now, ignore the middle number, as I said. So 0, 0 to 15, 15 is the, is the initial chunk. Now you could spawn anywhere in this sort of area, or miles away, uh, if, you, if it's water or whatever. Uh, but uh, they all start their count at 0, 0. So chunk one is going to be zero, zero to 15, 15, which means that we are going to have a chunk here from 16, zero, all the way up, all the way up to 31, zero, and then 31, 15, etc. So I've marked these chunks out that you normally don't get them marked out like this. I've already uh, calculated them just to show you how it works. So if we take a, a wider view, you can see this grid pattern starting to form. And these chunks, they go from bedrock right at the bottom of the world all the way to the sky limit. So imagine these being giant columns. And this is how, this is how the world is divided. Now, this is particularly important for bedrock because we don't want things like minecart, uh, minecarts, etc., to having to cross chunk borders. You may have heard the term chunk aligned. Chunk aligned just means making sure that, say, redstone components, that they all kind of fit into one particular chunk. So the way that you, the way that you find your chunks or find what chunk that you are in. There's a couple of ways. Uh, one is the uh, the good old maths version. So if you come out here, let's say some random chunk down here. Uh, let's just say we happen to be at 27, at negative 27, negative 42. Actually, I will go to the far side just to make it easier so we're not having to deal with negative numbers. So this one here, we will be 54.39. Okay, so what we want to do is, uh, so we've got 39, so we know that the chunk border is going to be divisible by 16. So if you get your calculator out, uh, the nearest border is going to be 32. So if we move this way, we'll hit 32. And so this is the border here. And then 55, uh, we know that the border is going to be, again, a multiple of, um, multiple of 16 for the, um, for the start. 
so it become to 48. So right here, we know, okay, we can mark down this one here. This is our chunk uh, border edge. And then if we keep going out here, we know that 48 on here is going to be the start of the next chunk. So the part that's divisible by 16, uh, I find it easiest to just get to the, the closest ones of those. And, you know, um, maybe if you, if you do this a lot, you might, I don't know, write up a, a table for it. That would be one way of going. So we can do it using the maths version. So remember that the 16, the multiple of 16 is going to be this corner here and it's going to go up. So this one here will be 47. So this block here is 47 that we're standing on, which means that the next one, the multiple of 16 is going to be that block there. Okay. So the same goes in the negative direction. So here, in the negative direction, it's it's going to be 16. So we've got the multiple of 16 here. Change the day to change it to day so we can see. So we've got this corner here, and then we go in. We go closer to zero. So. Kind of the opposite, I guess. So instead of it being the instead of it being the 32 on this block, 32 is this block, um, and it's just a function of negatives. So that's one way of doing it. Another way, which um, I use a used to use a fair bit, is a website called Chunkbase. So in, so it's chunkbase.com. Um, I'll do a link in the description. So you enter your seed into that, and the way that you find your seed under settings, this one here, seed, so that whole number there. So you put that into Chunkbase and you select your current version, make sure that it is on bedrock, not that it matters too much anymore um, if you're just looking for chunks and that will tell you where your chunk borders are you know you put in your current coordinates and that will tell you where your chunk borders are for your nearest one all right the way that i've been doing it recently is with this pack from resource pack from foxy notal link will be in the description so you get an armor stand and this works in survival um, you put any banner into the armor stand hands and then you crouch and you hit once and twice and that that gives you the current chunk boundaries so it doesn't matter where you put the armor stand it will still show the same boundaries and then if you do it another one more time, then it will give you a three by three grid. And then one more time gives you, I think it's a five by five grid. So you can use this for planning bigger builds, you know, maybe a massive stacked raid farm or something like that. But that will, it's just a visual thing. It doesn't actually change anything in the world. It just makes, makes aligning a lot easier. So understanding chunks will be useful for uh, probably my next video, which will go into update distance and where, yeah, where things grow and decay and updates happen in Minecraft that uses the system of chunks. So I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one.